Hemophilia B is a rare bleeding disorder. It affects around 1 in 30,000 males. There is a problem with blood clotting. In patients with hemophilia, they lack a protein called factor IX. Factor IX is a protein that circulates in blood, and when we cut ourselves, it starts the coagulation of blood to protect us from bleeding excessively. Now, in patients with hemophilia, the, 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 the gene that's responsible for making factor IX is damaged. There is currently uh, therapy. Patients can be given recombinant protein, uh, but it has to be given very frequently. It's extremely expensive and therefore not readily available throughout the world, and it's a very uh, invasive uh, process. So it, it is a disease that's uh, in need of better treatment. One way of treating this condition is to replace that damaged gene with a normal copy of fully functional gene. And so the way we've decided to deliver this gene to the liver, which is where factor IX is usually made, is to use viruses. We've taken out the properties of the virus, which is important for causing disease, and replaced it with the factor IX gene. And so what we're doing essentially is using the virus as a vehicle to deliver our gene to the liver. In the incubators are cells that we use to make the virus. Uh, these are our production line for making the vector. When we treat patients, we infuse it directly into the patient's vein. And that's essentially it. That's the treatment done. It is impressive that literally somebody is injecting cells that make in factor 9 into a vector that is a virus. When I cut myself shaving, for example, uh, the bleeding just stops, which wasn't happening before. And I feel better in general. I don't have small bleeds anymore, bruises and stuff like that. The collaboration between St. Jude and University College London has really been critical uh, to the success of this project. We've been able to develop this project together and accelerate its passage to clinic. Before it can be used by the wider hemophilia community, it needs to go through several other steps to show that the safety aspects of this treatment are robust and long-lasting. And for this treatment to become available may take another five to ten years. We're also interested in opening this approach up to children who may in fact benefit more than adults from this approach. I mean the real take-home message of this research is that it has the potential to revolutionize the lifestyle of these patients. It could revolutionize hemophilia care. This kind of a solution is just is something permanent that can make a difference for a lot of people. If we can make it work for hemophilia, then there's every hope that we can make it work for a variety of other disorders, including diabetes, including cancer.